speak of the women's reservation bill and the discussion to be held in the parliament today we have some breaking news coming in wherein top government sources have said on this women's reservation bill that once the women's reservation bill is passed by the parliament it will become a law there is no need for ratification by the state even if it talks about reservation in assembly and the parliament has the power to decide on the composition the formation of state assemblies and this is under rule 334 So these are the breaking news that this is the breaking piece of input that we are receiving and right now we have Payal Mehta joining us on the broadcast to give us more details about these four points that we have received from the top government sources. Payal a very good morning to you. Well to begin with what we are learning is uh, the fact that there is no need for ratification by the state even if it talks about the reservation in assemblies. This is a um, crucial point that is coming out of these four pointers. If you could just elaborate a bit for our viewers. Well, uh, there was a bit of a you know a confusion that was doing the rounds in terms of whether or not the states, fifty uh, percent of the states, will have to approve this, given the fact that this is a constitutional amendment. But as far as Rule uh, 334 is concerned, we are given to understand that according to that, the central laws will be prevailing, and there is no need for the ratification for the states to really happen because the parliament can make the make the rules as far as the formation and and uh, uh, the other things to do with other states is concerned. So that's uh, that's what is coming out right now because. There was a bit of a confusion in that respect because any legal luminary spell that is required on approval of by at least fifty percent of the state. Right, pile, pile. Also, um, could you just elaborate more on what do we expect from today's session? Over because we know that there is a seven-hour-long debate that is to be held, and we have got the names of a few speakers who are uh, slated to speak today in the house. Uh, what all are we expecting uh, from this? Are there fireworks that might be taking place as it has been over the last two days, or what exactly are we looking at? Most certainly, because the BJP will take dig at the Congress party and the opposition party, saying that they had the intent, but they never did anything. But you know, here is the government which has the intent and the power to implement as well. So you will see a lot of women speakers across the platform speak. Whether it is Sonia Gandhi, like our Kari Pallavi, has been able to uh, get us that breaking, or whether it is Smriti Irani and a host of other women MPs, you know, Sunita Dugal, Adhya Kumari, a lot of these pole-bound states from Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Chhattisgarh are likely to get a look in as far as the BJP is concerned in terms of women. Uh, speakers and also the fact that there are several women speakers and prominent women speakers within the opposition fold, whether it is Supriya Sule, whether it is Kani Modi among the others. So let's uh, wait and see how it really pans out. It's a seven-hour discussion that will take place. After which the law minister will reply, and following which the bill is set to be passed. Uh, uh, the government is keen on passing the bill today uh, in the Lok Sabha, and tomorrow it will take it to the Rajya Sabha and pass it in the Rajya Sabha as well. Right, right, Pal. Pal, do stay with us. Right now, we also have Pallavi Ghosh joining us on this broadcast. Pallavi, a very good morning to you. Well, as I was just asking Pal, uh, Pal on this, I, I will also come to you with this question as to a quick pointer, a quick summation of what all are we expecting from this session today? The seven-hour-long debate that is to happen, and the fact that uh, the government is keen on passing this bill in the Lok Sabha today. Do you think that would be possible, or it's too far-fetched of a uh, aim right now? Well, very quickly, it's a seven-hour discussion, as Pail and I have been reporting. So, which means that there is going to be no question hour because this is a special session of Parliament. So, as soon as the Parliament reconvenes at 11 a.m., is when we can expect that decision or the discussion rather to take place. Well, arrangements, big bang from all the sides, apart from say, Aspiti Irani and Adiya Kumari, who's from Rajasthan, and clearly the elections in Rajasthan are uppermost in the mind. We, of course, from the Congress party, have the lead being taken from Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Remember, Sonia Gandhi yesterday had inside Parliament said that this is our bill. This is the bill which we had brought and passed in Rajya Sabha in 2010. Of course, that has evoked very, very strong reactions from the BJP, where they are asking that if it is indeed your bill, why was it that you were not able to get it cleared in Lok Sabha? The only reason you did not do so is because you were scared that the alliance would break because there were parties like the Samajwadi Party. And even some within the Congress Party who were having an aversion to the Women Reservation Bill. That's one point. Very quickly, within the Congress Party, there are certain section who feel that there should also be a separate reservation for the OBCs as well, not just the SCST. Of course, Asaduddin Owaisi has already uh, emerged as a spoiler because he said. That the, since the bill does not talk about a separate reservation for Muslims, he is not going to be supporting the bill. Right, Palavi. Palavi, Pail, and we also have Arun Dhanta joining us on this broadcast. I will come back to all three of you to continue this conversation.